hi you welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a giant thrift haul from Goodwill I bought 10 items of clothing and it came to $43.65 I believe so I'm going to walk you through all the things that I got I have some DIY plans for some of them so I'll tell you about that and I'm going to try on the pieces as well so let's get started okay so I'll start with bottoms and work my way up so the first pair of jeans that I bought first and only pair of jeans are these dark wash Madewell jeans so I don't want any Madewell jeans but I've only heard good things and I tried them on and they're super 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 comfy and they're just regular skinny leg and I loved the little patch on the back that says made well and there's an itsy bitsy little M on the pocket which I really like too. Okay we'll move on to shorts. So the first pair of shorts I got aren't even for me they're for Lily. Okay they're these super cute baby blue. They're actually originally from Jack Wills so they have the little Jack Wills patch on the back which is super cute and they have a button fly which it's gonna be a little challenging, good luck Lil, but um, they're not that bad, it's just kind of a pain in the butt. The next pair of shorts that I got are these Levi 501s, and I'm not sure if someone had these as a pair of pants and then decided to cut them and make them into shorts because they're definitely very distressed here on the bottom. It wouldn't surprise me if they did. I don't know if Levi's makes shorts that look like this. I have not looked into it at all, but these ones were super comfy, they're really cute, super flattering, and they fit pretty perfectly. So there's those ones. Okay, these next pair of shorts I am absolutely obsessed with. They're actually very much too big for me. So Maggie's getting to keep these because he'll actually be able to wear them where I would have to go get them tailored and then they wouldn't even look right because of how the shorts are. I'm just gonna show them to you anyways because I'm obsessed and I'm hoping you will be too. Okay, they're these Tommy Hilfiger shorts. They're on the longer side. <laughs> they literally go down to my knees, but they have the Tommy little patch on the back. They have the Tommy logo embroidered on the front pocket, and then they have Tommy Hilfiger with a star written all the way down the leg. They were $5, and I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish that these would fit me, but they're way too big. Okay, moving on. I'm going to do skirts now. So the first skirt that I got is this little black mini skirt. It's like a, one of those bodycon pencil skirts and it just has a bunch of itsy bitsy little stars on it. So absolutely 100% needed this one. And it still has the tags on it. It's from H&M. But the price is ripped off. Either way, it fits really well and it's super cute. So. Okay, so the next skirt I have a DIY project for. So are you ready for it? Here we go. Okay, it is this black Forever 21, the whole super trendy buttons down the front, and it's just plain black. And my idea for this one goes along with something else that I purchased, which is this black grandma-esque sweater that has stars, planets, and like moons and stuff on it. It's amazing! But my thought process is I would never wear this, it's way too big for me anyways, and I wouldn't wear this as a sweater. So my thought is I'm going to cut out the stars and the planets and stuff that are on here and then glue them onto that black skirt. I think it's going to look amazing. If it doesn't look amazing, then I'm going to be really sad, but I'll make a video doing that too because I'm really excited to do that. So this is the before of this sweater and we'll see how good it looks on the skirt after. While we're on top, since I just showed you that sweater, I will show you the one other jacket-esque thing that I got and it is just this yellow I want to say denim, but it's definitely not denim. It's just like thicker fabric, but it has like a denim kind of feel to it. So it's this yellow jacket, but it reminded me of the Zendaya shoot when she did it with Boohoo, 
and they had the cropped yellow jean jacket in it. So I'm thinking that I might crop this. I'm not exactly sure yet. It looks really cute just how it is right now. So I'm gonna see how I feel about cropping it, but I'm absolutely obsessed with this one. Okay, and lastly, I'm going to show you three t-shirts that I bought, and these ones I have some DIY ideas for. So, the first one is this kind of obnoxious hot pink t-shirt. It's just a regular plain t-shirt, has nothing on it, but my roommate actually showed me this shirt that she saw on Forever 21 that she thought was very me, and it says emotional on it, and it's all embroidered. I'll insert a picture right here. So I'm thinking that I want to do that with this shirt, but I, instead of embroidering it, I might paint it. I'm fully capable of embroidering it, I just don't know how I would feel about it being embroidered, so I might paint it on here instead. Just little, right, emotional cross front. So I think that would be really funny, and I might crop it, I'm not sure. This is a youth medium, so it fits pretty well, so I'm not sure if I'll need to crop it, but the option's there. The next t-shirt that I got is this baby yellow one, it's very similar in color to the jacket that I got and this one I'm thinking I want to put something across the front like honey or sunshine something that goes with the color yellow and um, my friend Celia, Celia I know you're watching this, um, is set, has coined the nickname sunshine for me so I think it would be really cute if I wrote sunshine across the front I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that yet but I think it would be really cute so I'm looking forward to doing something to this one and then lastly, I got this green shirt. It's a Shake Shack shirt. Shake? Wow, say that four times fast. It's a Shake Shack shirt. Okay. <laughs> and it says Fresh Cuts on it, which I think is so funny. I'm always talking about fresh cuts. So, haircuts that is. And this is talking about french fries because it's Shake Shack. So, I'm going to cut this one, make it a crop top, and then with the bottom, everything that's left over, because it's a pretty big shirt, I'm going to make a tube top out of it. So we'll see. This one, we have big plans for this little shirt. So I will definitely show you guys the final look with this one. I am very excited to try to cut it and see what it's going to look like. The look will definitely be up on my thrift Instagram, which is thrift with Maggie right here. And I post all of my thrift finds once I take an actually aesthetically pleasing photo of them. And I upload them up onto that Instagram. Alright, so that's it for all of the clothing that I bought today. I'm going to be doing some of the DIY things that I just talked about to some of these pieces. And I'll film those too and those will be up soon. But in the meantime, you can just follow my thrift Instagram or my regular Instagram. All of the pieces will eventually be up onto those. If you guys would like to see any more thrift videos from me, you can go down and hit the subscribe button. I will definitely be posting more. If you have any ideas of anything else you would like to see from me, you can comment those down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you would like to. And I will see you guys when I see you. Bye.